Yesterday, I designed and uploaded a free digital image to Stamp TV as a gift to our members. And some of you asked to see a card created using this free image. So today I'm going to show you a cute little four and a quarter square card featuring the free digital image and a few supplies that you may have in your stamp room. Let me show you the tools and products you need to do this technique. First, you're going to need some decent cardstock, and my favorite for printing digital images is the Gina K Designs Pure Luxury 80 pound weight white cardstock. It's nice and smooth, and it will go through just about any inkjet printer if it's a top loading printer. And it just gives you, it gives it such a nice feel, easy to cut, and um, I haven't had any problems with any printers that I've tried to use it on. So what I've done here is I've downloaded the image from our site and I've printed a couple of sheets and you can see all you do is open the, the file and you just print it and it prints just like this on your card stock. So here I have enough to make 18 cards or 18 different projects. Now you're going to cut that in half so it makes it easier to work with if you're going to die cut it and I happen to have one here that I already pre-cut in half and this one is ready for me to work with. Something else you're going to need is some dies and I have some of the Spellbinders circle dies. These are the classic standard circle dies in both the large and the small size and one of them is going to be to actually cut out the image and the other one is going to be to create a layer and then this last one is the lacy circle die and that's going to give me a little bit of finished edge around the outside. Then I'm also going to use some Sakura glitter pens. I have the red star and the clear star. And you're going to need some paper. And again, I'm using some of the Gina K Designs 80 pound white and some of our red hot base weight cardstock. And then I have a little bit of pattern paper here. And this is Echo Park pattern paper and it's from the Seasons Greeting set. And I made myself a little four and a quarter by four and a quarter inch card base in the red hot. So to start out, I'm going to use my cuddle bug and I'm going to cut out this image. I'm going to start just like I would with any stamp with an A plate and a B plate. And then I'm going to lay my image sheet down here and I'm going to position that die so that looks all nice and centered. And put my C plate on top. You know what? I moved that just a little bit, so I'm going to reposition that. I like to pull it out a little. And of course, this is always easier to do if you're standing up. It's kind of hard to stamp sitting down. I don't get the right view. Bird's eye view is very helpful. Okay, so now I've cut out my focal image here. And there's that little digi. And next, I'm going to cut out a red circle that's a little bit bigger so that I can layer that on top. And that one doesn't have to be positioned. Cut that out. As you can see, these two pieces will layer nicely together like that. And then my last cut is going to be on some of the 80 pound white cardstock again. And I'm going to cut out my lacy circle so I have a nice backdrop for that focal image. And just pop that out. And if there's any little ones still in there, you can just pop those out. And there is my lacy circle. Okay. And now the assembly for this card is super simple. But that's kind of what we want for holiday cards. We want our cards to be very easy to put together quick and easy so that we can make lots of them quickly. So I'm just going to layer up these pieces together. I'm 
And then I'm going to put this whole focal image right on top of the lacy circle. Isn't that cute? Okay. There we go. And now I've cut out a piece of this patterned paper and I made a layering piece for it. This one is three and I think that's three and a half inches by three and a half inches. But to be 100% sure, check under the screen. It may be three and a quarter inches by three and a quarter inches and I don't have a ruler right here with me. So just check under the screen at Stamp TV and you'll see the measurements. And if you're watching this on YouTube, you can just hop over to stamptv.com and the measurements will be over there. Okay, so there I've layered that. Now I'm going to add a little delicate piece of our red gold line ribbon. Oh, that ribbon is so beautiful. And I'm just going to tape it around the back. Make sure that's straight. Looks pretty straight. And then this whole piece is going to be popped onto this red hot card base. Oh, this red is so nice and vibrant for Christmas. Love it. Isn't that pretty. There we go. Okay. Now I'm going to put this on top, but I'm going to use some quarter inch pop dots so that it's a little bit raised and give the card a little bit more texture and I want to make sure that I put two top dots on the top and two on the bottom I want to kind of stay away from where the ribbon is on that card but four will hold it down nicely and it still won't make it too bulky to mail the quarter inch pop dots pop dots don't create too too high of a layer just gives it a little bit of of a raise. All right. And it's going to go right here. Like that. Now I'm not quite done yet because I want to add a little bit of sparkle to this card. So I'm going to start with my Sakura Clear Star pen. And I'm going to color in the frame area, just this little line in between the dotted line and the solid line of the frame. And we'll turn down the no glare lights and you'll be able to see all the sparkle you get from this card. It's just so pretty. Sometimes if your glitter gets stuck in the top of your pen, you can just tap it a couple times on some scratch paper and it'll start flowing again really nicely. So don't think if it's not flowing that it's actually out of ink. It may just be a little bit clogged. But the Sakura pens are nice. They don't get clogged very often. Sometimes just when you first start using them, you need to kind of give them a little start. Okay, so we're almost done this part. And now I want to add a little bit of sparkle into the heart area of this little decorative part here. So I'll add a little bit in the heart. And then I'm going to take the red star pen. And there are these little accents here, these little open oval accents. I'm just going to put a little bit of red in there to give it a little bit of color. That is one of the downsides of digital images is that you can't really stamp them in color. You can't do a lot of techniques with them. You can't emboss with them. You can't do any of the resist techniques. But when you're in a pinch and you need a quick card or you just want to make some real simple clean and simple designs, they work very nicely for that. So now you can see how quick and easy that was. 
and we're going to turn down the lights. I have another one here I want to show you. I made the same card with different pattern paper from that same paper pack. So you can kind of take one of those six by six paper packs and just make a whole assortment of these. For here, I just covered the little heart with a rhinestone and then I colored it with a red Copic marker just to give it a little bit of sparkle, little glitz. Look at all of the beautiful sparkle you get around the perimeter of that image and also on the little heart and the little red ovals in there that I touched with that red star pen. Isn't that pretty? So much holiday sparkle. And with this one I did the same thing except I added the rhinestone and you can see that rhinestone shining there as well. So rather than having the heart you can do anything you want. You can put a little button, you can put a brad, you can add a little bow there, whatever you'd like. It just kind of sets off that little design. One of the fun things about using a digital image is there's no waiting. So you can make this card right now by visiting stamptv.com and clicking on the freebies tab. Download the image to your computer, open it, and print, and you'll be on your way to creating beautiful cards, tags, and more today.